Welcome to WCBN's broadcast of Michigan women's basketball. I'm Emily Harrard here with Morris Fabry as the Michigan Wolverines take on San Diego Toreros. Yeah, it's a bit of a quiet atmosphere right now. You'd think the crowd would be a little more lively. Pretty good crowd, though. The crowd is quiet now, but the past two WNIT games, they have gotten on their feet and excited for the Wolverines late in the game. Starting, though, for San Diego, we have Melina Hood and her sister, Maya Hood. They're the two leading scorers for San Diego. Melina with 18.7 points per game and Maya Hood with 14.5. The other starters is Catherine Hamilton, Corey Woodward, and Sydney Williams. All yeah, the, the, sorry, the Hood sisters are going to be something to watch. The Wolverines got to make sure they don't get hoodwinked <laughs> and... Keep an eye on them at all times. And make somebody else on this Toreros team beat them. And the starting lineup for the Michigan Wolverines is um, junior Sierra Thompson, Caitlin Flaherty, Hallie Thome, Madison Rostowski, and Danielle Williams. And Danielle Williams has gotten the start for the first two WNIT games, and she's put up some good numbers, scoring a career-high 12 points in the game against Wright State and she's just brought energy and hustle that was needed for the Wolverines and some the hustle plays and steals and just some stat some numbers that don't show up on the stat sheet but were much needed for the Wolverines yeah I think Williams brings as you said a kind of intensity especially on the defensive end for the Wolverines maybe not as offensively gifted as the likes of Jillian Dunstan or Kelsey Mitchell and you know both of those players will play a big role off the bench but especially against a team like San Diego that likes to slow it down, plays a kind of grind it out style of basketball. Uh, Danielle Williams might be helpful for the Wolverines. And as you said, Jillian Dunstan um, will be good off the bench. And I think Kim barnes Zarico has done a good job of making sure all her players are ready to play at any moment. And Jillian Dunstan will come off the bench and get a whole lot of boards for the Wolverines. So she's very important. But the Wolverines are going to have to get a lot of, out of some key starters, and that's going to be Flaherty, Thome, and Thompson. When all three of them are clicking, it's hard to stop the Wolverines, but you see some some games where Thome puts on a show, but Flaherty's not shooting as well. So it'll be interesting to see if Flaherty can step up to um, the pressure and get her shot more on track. Yeah, Michigan is a young team led by the the senior guard, or sorry, junior guard Sierra Thompson. Uh, not not a team with a lot of experience, and so you can kind of expect the the play to be a bit up and down as the season goes on, especially for the freshman Hallie Thome. But uh, if Thome can come out and set the tone, uh, score inside. She's gifted scoring inside with both hands. Sometimes gets the lesser end uh, from a physicality standpoint, but. If she can get going down low, it'll set in motion a lot of good action for the rest of the offense for the Wolverines. And the beginning against Wright State, she looked a little nervous. And even though it's not the biggest stage, it's still postseason and it's the WNIT. So maybe as a freshman, she was just feeling a little nerves, but she'll be more comfortable out here as the third game of the WNIT. Well, she's got the full support of the crowd behind her. Not a lot of uh, I guess blue or teal uniform. I'm not sure what the colors of the San Diego Toreros are. Right now they're wearing kind of dark navy uniforms, which I guess I couldn't distinguish from the blue that Michigan's wearing. But uh, anyway, the crowd pretty pro-Michigan. Pro it's a heck of a trip from San Diego to here. <laughs> now both teams getting ready to tip off. It's going to be Sydney Williams versus Hallie Thome for the tip off. Michigan will be going from left to right. San Diego from right to left across your dial. And here we go. The ball is up, and it's tipped to Sierra Thompson. We'll start off with the ball for the Wolverines. She passes to Danielle Williams on the left wing. She finds Thome down low, but the pass is tipped away by Williams. But Danielle Williams of Michigan gets the ball back, gives it to Rostowski, who's driving the lane. She goes up for the left-handed layup, and that one's good. Quick well, first step there from Rostowski to get to the hoop. 
Now the other way is Maya Hood. She picks up her dribble and gives it to Woodward. Woodward now to Williams. Woodward up top, guarded by Danielle Williams. She gets a screen from Sydney Williams. She's now on the right wing. She picks up her dribble. Melina Hood on the left wing. Six seconds on the shot clock. Outside on the perimeter. Hood trying to get something going, but it is stripped away by Caitlin Flaherty. Flaherty to Thompson on the left wing. She looks down to Thome, but her pass went too high and out of bounds to San Diego. Thome had position down low, but did not do a great job of walling off Sydney Williams with her body. Had no leverage to go after that pass, which was a bit off target from Sierra Thompson. The Wolverines implementing a bit of a trap now. San Diego does get it past the timeline. And now up top, it's Woodward. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Woodward still dribbling up top. She gives it to Sydney Williams, who puts up a three from the left wing, raises the, the rim and rebounds to Flaherty. She outlets it to Rostovsky. Rostovsky right wing. Now Thompson in the right corner. She drives baseline, puts up the layup, no good. Rebound to Maya Hood. Thompson's got to go up strong there. The other way, it's Woodward. Now to Molina Hood. Now up top to her sister, Maya Hood, who's going to give it to Woodward on the right wing. Ten seconds on the shot clock at Sydney Williams. She drives, kicks it out to Hamilton, who puts up a three. No good. Rebound to Danielle Williams. Williams gives it to Rostovsky. Now to Thompson, who puts up a three-pointer from the right wing. That one's good. 5-0. Wolverines lead. More of a trap from the Wolverines, but San Diego gets it across the timeline. It's Molina Hood. She puts up a jumper. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Caitlin Flaherty, who's going the other way. Flaherty's going to go all the way up for the right-handed layup. That's good. Great body control there by Flaherty. Went off her right foot going up for that layup, but still finished with a soft touch. Wolverine still in their pressure. Flaherty almost steals the pass to Molina Hood, but she controls it. And now it's Woodward up top who will slow it down for San Diego. She hands it off to Maya Hood. Now Molina Hood. She gives it to Sydney Williams. Williams to Maya Hood, or Hamilton, who kicks it to Williams again, who puts up the corner jumper. It's now 7-2. Allie Thome backed off just a bit on Williams, and she's shown she's at least willing to hoist from some sort of range. The other way now, it's Flaherty. Kicks it up top to Danielle Williams, who finds a Rostovsky cutting back door, and she gets the layup. 9-2 with 6.30 remaining in the first quarter. Wolverines again pressing the other way now. It's Molina Hood up top to Woodward. Back to Molina Hood. She dribbles right to the lane. Now kicks it out. Now in the corner, it's Woodward for a three. No good. Rebound to Flaherty. Flaherty now going all the way through the lane, and she has fouled hard. Missing the layup, she'll go to the line for two. Got to like what, I, what what we've seen out of Flaherty so far in this game. Both of her offensive opportunities, she's taken it to the rim, used her shiftiness uh, and quickness to weave through defenders and put them in compromising positions. First she made a layup, now she's getting to the line. And she already has three defensive boards, which is something you don't necessarily see out of Caitlin Flaherty. She makes her first, so it's now 10-2 to two for Wolverines. Yeah, and it's not like you know she's going up among the trees to get the board. She's getting in the right place at the right time, reading the ball well off the rim, and her teammates are boxing out well for her. She converts the second. Now Jillian Dunson in the game, pressuring, and Williams will pass it across the timeline to Woodward. She hands it off to Molina Hood, then gives it to Hamilton up top. Hamilton drives left, spins, Kicks it out to Woodward, who puts up a three. That one's no good, and rebound to Sierra Thompson. She outlets to it to Dunstan. Now to Rostovsky. Fakes the three. She drives. Kicks it to a cutting Dunstan, who misses the layup. Gets her own rebound. Kicks it out to Rostovsky on the left wing for the three. And she nails that one. 
Strong work there by Jillian Dunstan. Went to the rim, used her body well to shield the shot blocker on the interior. Uh, and I think that actually kind of threw, threw her off balance. She missed the layup, but she was able to stay strong, get that offensive rebound, kick it out to Rostovsky, and a very quick release on the perimeter by Madison Rostovsky. Didn't even bring the ball down, just caught it about chest height, raised it straight up, and knocked it down. Rostovsky shooting hot early for the Wolverines. And that just shows how the Wolverines have been playing so far this game. They've had control and they've had rhythm. They're um, out to a 14-2 to lead already in the first. And that's something different than the first two WNIT games where they started out slow, making it a, a close game between their opponents. Yeah, maybe the reverse is about to happen. Maybe they're getting the hot start and then they're just going to choke it away in the end if that's how things work. I think this game is not really being played in favor of the San Diego Toreros. They're getting sped up, uh, especially on the defensive end, because uh, they, ha they have these long, deliberate offensive possessions, uh, getting mixed results as far as the looks of it. San Diego has been cold shooting so far, only 0-4 from behind the arc. Uh, but Michigan has taken their opportunities, pushed the pace in transition, and San Diego appears totally out of their comfort zone. And the Wolverines have put up good looks. They're shooting 71% from the field, so two very different stories for both teams. Leading Michigan in scoring is Madison Rostovsky. She has seven on three for three shooting. On the other side, it's Sydney Williams leading the way, but she only has two points, all two points for San Diego. Yeah, it's not saying much <laughs> to lead the way for a team trailing 14 to two. Michigan scored seven points in the last minute, six seconds. Uh, Flaherty's got four points, one of one from the field, two of two from the free throw line. And the passing has been solid for the Wolverines as well. Rostovsky hit on the back cut for a lab. Jillian Dunstan hit off of some nice pump fake action from Rostovsky. And Rostovsky just moved so well that possession. First the pump fake drove into lane, dished it across her body to Dunstan, and then found an open spot on the perimeter for Dunstan to hit her after that offensive rebound. Now both teams returning to the court for play will be San Diego with the ball. Dunstan putting pressure on Woodward in the backcourt. She will quickly give it to Hamilton going the other way. Now back up top, it's Woodward. Woodward to Maya Hood. Hands it off to Melina Hood. Now it's Hamilton. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Back to Melina Hood, who launches a three, and she gets that one to fall. It's been a long time coming for the Toreros. The other way, Thompson kicks it to Flaherty, who drives for the left-handed layup. No good, but Thumb's there, and she's going to be fouled as she attempts to go back up with the layup. San Diego going with a bit of a small ball look right now. It doesn't appear to be anybody out there uh, with more than six feet of height. Thumb with her six foot four six foot five length able to reach over the bigs down low grab the rebound and draw the foul foam hits her first to extend the lead to 10 15 5. the second one falls as well now kelsey mitchell will check in for hallie thome Now it's Sydney Williams looking to break the trap. She will dribble across the timeline, pick up her dribble, and hand it to Woodward. Woodward hands it off to Hamilton. Hamilton up top. She'll now give it back to Woodward on the right wing. Five seconds on the shot clock. Three, two, Woodward to Williams who puts up a shot. One on the clock, no good, and now there's a scramble for the rebound, and Sierra Thompson comes out with it. She's going the other way, kicks it to Flaherty. She's going to drive baseline, go up for the reverse layup, counted in a foul. On the other end, I don't think San Diego got that shot off in time for the shot clock. The refs let play go on. Good hustle by Thompson to come up with the loose ball, and Flaherty just too quick for the Toreros. Good form on the reverse layup, getting the bucket and the harm. She gets the foul shot to foul. fall. It's now 19-5. Woodward gives it to Maya Hood. Now the other way, it's Hamilton who finds a cutting Molina Hood. She gets the layup. 
Thompson up top for the Wolverines. Gives it to Rostovsky. Now gives it to Dunson, who's being harassed by Maya Hood, and Maya Hood almost forces the turnover, but Kim Barnes-Arigo is able to call timeout as Dunson and Hood were in the backcourt fighting for the ball. Arico is animated down there on the sideline. I'm not sure whether she's frustrated with Dunstan or uh, enthused by her hustle and going after the loose ball, getting to the floor and securing possession to call that timeout. I'd say it's more likely the latter. Uh, uh, good play there by San Diego to break the pressure, the full court pressure the Wolverines were instituting using uh, Sydney Williams as kind of a fulcrum to leverage the Wolverines in the middle of the court. The pass to her, uh, she was able to turn and find cutters on both sides. And when the, with the Wolverines devoting extra uh, manpower in that back court, it was an easy bucket for San Diego. Michigan might have to reevaluate re their strategy. And now it's Thompson with nine seconds left for the Wolverines to shoot. She gives it to Williams up top, five seconds. Now to Thome on the left elbow, finds a cutting Sierra Thompson, but it's broken up by Hamilton. And now it's San Diego the other way. Melina Hood puts up a three. That one long rebound to Dunstan. Dunstan outlets it to Thompson. Bad pass, and it's almost stolen by San Diego, but Dunstan's on the floor, and she gets it to Thompson, and now there's going to be a foul on Melina Hood. Man, Jillian Dunstan, strong work after that loose ball. Not a great pass, but she made up for it by wrestling it away from two blue jerseys there. She doesn't want any mistakes on her name tonight. <laughs> yeah, she's come... Uh, awfully close to a couple turnovers, but really exerting her will, making sure the Wolverines maintain possession there. It's Thompson. Now to Danielle Williams. Started by Woodward. Now up top to Dunstan. Back to Thompson. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Up to Flaherty for a long three. That one's good from the top of the key. Held the follow through, too. That one. Good the moment it left her hands. Wolverine's still pressuring San Diego, but they get it across half court. It's Woodward dribbling up top. Now up top, Sydney Williams puts up a three. That one's no good, and it's going to bounce out of bounds to the Wolverines. That one uh, bad the moment it left her hand. Williams... Uh, playing the center position, probably not used to seeing a lot of hands in her face on the perimeter, but Thome has got the length to challenge her. Quick pass up to Flaherty. She puts up the jumper. That one falls. Flaherty has a quick 12 points, and it's 24-7. to seven. Now San Diego. It's Maya Hood. Hands it off to Woodward. Offense just around the perimeter now for San Diego. It's Hamilton to Melina Hood. Now to Burr, up top to Williams. Williams going to drive, but the ball stripped away by the Wolverines. It's Flaherty going the other way. The loose ball poked to Woodward. San Diego the other way, and now it's Hood who tries to bounce it to her sister, and it's going to be off her foot and a foul. I think that was uh, Danielle Williams getting in the right spot at the right time. Uh, and drawing a charge just outside that restricted area it was Williams indeed. So now San Diego implementing some full court pressure. Wolverines break it though. It's Danielle Williams finds Flaherty in the left corner for three. That one's in and out. But Thome is there for the rebound. And she goes up for the reverse layup. No good. She is out of bounds before she gets up the layup. Yeah, I thought she was going to be able to carry herself under the rim for that reverse layup. Good hustle. The Wolverines. They've gotten a lot of loose balls in this game here in the first quarter. Now Woodward back to Maya Hill. Back to Woodward trying to get past Flaherty and Dunstan in the backcourt. She gets it up to Hamilton and now back to Hood. It's Molina on the right wing. She picks up her dribble, finds her sister cutting to the basket. She gets that layup. 29, 24-9, Wolverines lead. Sierra Thompson floats it to film down on the block. She gets the left-handed layup. That was a really nice, but almost a no-look look there from Sierra Thompson. 
Woodward picks up her dribble right at half court, but she's able to get it across the timeline to Hamilton, who finds Williams in the corner, but she lost the handle, and Thome will get the ball, give it to Dunstan. Now Dunstan outlets it to Williams, who's going to drive all the way, put up a crazy layup, no good, and rebound to Maya Hood. The other way, Woodward finds Hamilton. Now up top to Williams. Williams to Woodward on the right wing. Now to Maya Hood and Hamilton on the left wing. Nine seconds on the shot clock. She's going to dribble. Now kicks it out to Williams who puts up the three. It's in and out. Rebound Jillian Dunstan. She's going to dribble it up the court and find Danielle Williams who then gives it to Sierra Thompson. To slow it down for the Wolverines. There's 10 seconds remaining in the first. Danielle Williams up top to Sierra Thompson. Four seconds. She puts up the layup, and she draws the foul. Layup no good to go to the line for two. That one may be a bit questionable. Looked to me like Maya Hood might have been in the spot and drawn the charge, but uh, still a good, wor good work there by uh, Sierra Thompson to get the shot up. It was a case of a bad pass, a bad decision rewarding the Wolverines. Uh, looks like it was a charge, so my mistake. <laughs> and San Diego launches up a half-court shot at the buzzer, but no good. So we'll go into the second. The Wolverines up 26-9. to nine. This is uh, about as well as things could have possibly turned out for the Wolverines in the first half. And it's all started on the defensive end, I think. The Wolverines have been very aggressive, trapping the San Diego Toreros at every turn. Uh, hedging really hard on the high screen play that they're going to work with. And San Diego really hasn't thrown any wrinkles back at them. Usually when a team over pursues on the defensive end, if you can get some quick passing and good ball movement, some off ball screens, some sort of misdirection, you can exploit the defense over committing. But so far, San Diego has none of that going for them. They've been ice cold from the perimeter. I think Michigan can expect that much to turn around. But if they maintain this kind of energy level, uh, they should be able to hold on. Yeah, It looks like San Diego is very confused by the Wolverines' defensive pressure because, as you said, once they get it um, past half court, they kind of just stand around the three-point line, passing it around, but no movement in screens, as you said, which is necessary if they want to tire out the Wolverines. And it's interesting, San Diego did implement some full-court pressure once, but they quickly went out of that, so we'll see if both teams will continue to um, experiment with their full court pressure. I think one area that, uh, one weakness that has hurt San Diego so far is their lack of anybody they can throw it to down low. Sydney Williams has been there big for most of this game, but standing at 6-1, she's kind of, it, it kind of seems like she's dwarfed by Haley Thumb, especially because I don't think she has the same, anywhere near the same wingspan as Thom. So she's not a player that can toss it down. She doesn't seem really comfortable uh, finishing in the low post, especially uh, against the length of Thom. She's one of five on today's game. She's already got a turnover or two. Uh, and that trouble is permeated through the rest of the offense. And Williams hasn't even been down low that much. She's shot three three pointers and missed all of them. And she's shoots 32 percent for the season from long range but as you said they they're gonna have to see if williams can establish herself more down low you know going into this game i was a little uncertain as to what to expect this michigan team is certainly underwhelmed at times throughout the regular season but they have been the dominant team against san diego here in the third round of the nit as we begin the second san diego will start with the ball it's woodward She's pressured by Danielle Williams. She's going to get past her. She doesn't drive the lane. She kicks it to Melina Hood on the, the right wing. She dribbles right and gives it to... Excuse me. Looks like no, that's Aubrey Wardell. Wardell, excuse me. Yes, she gets the layup, and now it's 26-11. It's Sierra Thompson up top. She's guarded by Wardell. Now it's Mustafsky on the left wing. She uses some good dribbling and gets past her defender. Puts up the jumper. No good, though. Rebound the other way. Now it's Woodward. She's 
just going to pick up her dribble and give it to Hood. Maya Hood, who misses the layup, who fights for her own rebound and tips it out to her teammate and sister, Melina Hood, who puts up the three. It's no good, and the rebound goes to Rostovsky. Rostovsky up top for the Wolverines. She gives it to Thompson on the right wing. He feeds Thome in the paint. Thome is pressured and kicks it out to Rostovsky. Rostovsky finds Thompson up top, who drives right, kicks it to Thome on the block. She misses the layup, but is fouled. Yeah, Hood on the interior, not going to be able to block the shot of Hallie Thelm. Good work by Thompson. She's made a couple of those real nice kind of pocket slip passes to Hallie Thelm on the interior, and Thelm has gotten to the line twice. She's a good free throw shooter. And she makes the first. It's now 27-11. Checking into the game is Boogie Brzezowski and Caitlin Flaherty for Jillian Dunson and Sierra Thompson. It'll be Boogie Brzezowski still rocking that face mask. Stone hits the second. Boogie Brzezowski will lead the full court pressure, but it's quickly across the time line to Wardell. She's on the left wing. She's going to dribble center, kicks it out to Hamilton, who puts up a quick jumper from the corner. That one's good. Good off ball cut there by Hamilton while the defense's attention was on Wardell. Cut straight to the baseline behind the back of Flaherty. And got wide open for the J. Flaherty to Williams. Outside the perimeter. She finds cutting Flaherty in the paint. She picks up her dribble out to Brzozowski. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Brzozowski gives it to Flaherty. Five seconds to shoot. Flaherty drives. And the ball is poked out of bounds off San Diego with two seconds remaining on the shot clock. Not a lot of space inside for the Wolverines. San Diego really backing into the lane. Wolverines see the quick shot. It's into Rostovsky, but the ball is going to be tipped away to San Diego's Sydney Williams. The other way, it's Woodward. Woodward driving center. She gives it to Wardell on the left wing. Back to Woodward. She's going to find a cutting hood, but it's first stolen by Flaherty going the other way. She lobs it up to Thome. Thome puts it up, counted in a foul. Great job by Thome to run the floor. That's what you want your big man to do, big player to do, I should say. Fill that lane in transition, go coast to coast, and Flaherty, a beautiful lob pass, hit Thome perfectly in stride. And the dexterity to finish with the left hand through the contact at full sprint. That's a nice effort from your freshman center. Now Thome has eight points. Perfect from the field. She misses the foul shot, though. It's 30-13. Michigan on top. Now Wardell for San Diego. She's guarded by Flaherty. She's going to drive right. She picks up her dribble, gives it to Hamilton, who finds Woodward, puts up the jumper from the left. That's good. Brzezowski caught ball watching on that play, trying to help where no help was needed, and that led to that open jumper. Now Brzezowski feeds Thelm on the block, who finds Rostovsky on the left wing, and she has an open lane to the basket. She gets the left-handed layup. Great awareness by Thelm and a great pump fake by Rostovsky, who's got this defense scared of her jumper. Now Woodward guarded by Brzezowski. She hands it off to Hamilton. He feeds down low to Williams, and she's going to charge. Good positioning by Brzezowski. Absolutely. There on the double team as soon as that pass came down inside to Williams. Thome doing a great job leading her into believing she had that space, and Brzezowski in the right place. This Wolverines team, very good defensively with their rotation so far. San Diego with some full court pressure, but it's Rostovsky. She gets it across the timeline to Nicole Munger, who's now checked in. She'll pass it back out to Rostovsky. Rostovsky back to Munger in the right corner, up top to Thompson. Back like to the a, corner to Munger. Looks like a 2 3 zone from San Diego, and it's going to work. It does work as the Wolverines will throw the ball out of bounds. 
San Diego. We'll get the ball back with 6.08 remaining in the first half. KBA clapping her hands. She is furious with how that possession went. Up 17, but still room for improvement. As on the other end, it's Maya Hood. Now, 15 seconds on the shot clock. The fans trying to trick San Diego, though. It's Wardell up top. She thinks she has to put up a shot, so she does, but that's no good. And it's going to go out of bounds to the Wolverines. Sierra Thompson made a play that prevented an easy bucket for San Diego. San Diego. The Wolverines rotation uh, left somebody wide open on that left block, but Thompson rotated over like a free safety, cut off that passing lane just enough to allow her defense to get back in shape, and then uh, went back to her man. Flaherty puts up a quick three. That one falls. Or it was a two or foot on the line. 34-15, 5.30 remaining. Wardell finds Williams open in the right corner. That one drops. Thompson to Munger. Munger drives right and is going to get the blocking call. And she's going to go to the line. It was, looks like, looks like Corey Woodward on the foul there. Uh, it's a case of, you know, she got to the spot, but instead of trying to sit back and contest the look from Nicole Munger, tried to draw the charge, but clearly not underneath Munger when she went up with the shot. Munger misses her one foul shot. It's 36, 17, five minutes remaining. Up top, Fordell. Gives it to Woodward. Woodward drives right, finds a cutting Kissinger, who misses but is fouled. She will go to the line for two. I'll tell you, if there's one way this Michigan defense could improve, it's being more aware of the back cuts. I said earlier that San Diego hasn't had much action to exploit Michigan's uh, aggressive pursuit on the perimeter, but now they've started to get open looks via the back cut, Michigan's perimeter players uh, have been ball watching and have had their players cut right behind them for open baseline jumpers. And right there, an open look at the, at the rim that resulted in a foul. Uh, you know, Michigan's had mixed success with rotating help defense, but help defense can only do so much. At some point, you've got to be accountable for the person that you're marking. With San Diego's increased movement on offense, their field goal percentage has increased to 40%. Wolverine's still shooting 68% uh, in their four of their last four. Yeah, it's part of the reason why the Wolverines have been able to maintain the kind of distance they have uh, on the scoring end. They've just, every, every time San Diego's come down with something, the Wolverines have come right back. And uh, maybe the 2-3 zone will provide some brief respite, but the Wolverines have not been cold from behind the arc, so uh, if San Diego chooses to pick their poison to give up threes instead of the open looks on the interior, uh, well, I'll just say good luck with that. Well, San Diego did have success when they went into the 2-3 zone. The Wolverines only have two turnovers, and one of them is when San Diego was in that, that zone. Michigan so far dominating the glass. To be fair, they've got six fewer misses than San Diego. So they've had a lot more defensive rebounding opportunities, but Thome has been strong. The guards have been strong attacking the glass. And there really haven't been any big time second chances for the Toreros so far. And that's always a key, no matter who you're playing. Yeah, San Diego has zero second chance points while the Wolverines have five. And as we said, Jillian Dunstan, Always strong presence off the bench. She has had lots of energy, and she has three rebounds on the night. Now on the floor for the Wolverines, so it's going to be Rostovsky, Thom, Bunker, Thompson, and Flaherty. For San Diego, Williams, Wardell, Kissinger, Woodward, and Hood. That will be Maya Hood. The first shot by Kissinger is no good. Still 36-17. You might have heard the band playing the final countdown by Europe with 4.57 to go and a 19, now 18-point lead in the second quarter. I got to question the song choice. Now the Wolverines 
on offense. It's Sierra Thompson. She dribbles and now gives it to Flaherty on the right wing. He tries to find Rostovsky down low. It's going to be poked out of bounds by Williams. It's going to stay with the Wolverines. Ill-advised pass there by Flaherty. Maybe expected Rostovsky to roll all the way into the corner, and I think that mistake might be on Rostovsky as she's got to be able to stretch this 2-3 zone, which now seems to have reverted to man-to-man. -man. Flaherty will kick it out to Rostovsky in the left corner. That one falls for Rostovsky. 39-18 with 4.30 remaining in the half. And some good pressure by the Wolverines on the other end, and they're going to force the turnover. Yeah, Jamie Kissinger got caught in a bad spot, off balance, falling out of bounds, just threw it up, trying to hit Woodward as she crossed half court, but Woodward had not yet landed on the right side of the timeline. So another turnover for the Toreros. Rostovsky gives it in to Thompson. She's going to be guarded by Ordo. Hands it off to Rostovsky. Looking for someone to get open. She gives it to Thompson and now down low to Thelm. Thelm out to Danielle Williams. Up top to Flaherty and they're going to call double dribble. I don't Flaherty. like that call. Uh, Flaherty kind of dropped the ball as she was receiving the pass. The ref uh, the refs interpreted that as a dribble, to, but to me it was just Flaherty gathering the ball. Unfortunate break for the Wolverines. And now San Diego gets the ball. It's Woodward. Up top for, and now to Hood. Up top to Wardell. Right wing to Burr, guarded by Danielle Williams. She gives it to Woodward. Now Wardell is going to dribble left, go up against Flaherty. Her layup's no good. Hepburn with the rebound and put back, which is no good, but she is fouled. Good job filling the lane, getting that board by Taylor Hepburn. San Diego, really the, the best player I've seen on the court for them so far has to have been uh, Aubrey Wardell. She's been a source of energy for them, and I think kind of generated that Kobe assist, if you will, attacking the basket, drawing a couple defenders, including the person who probably was responsible for bro for blocking out Taylor Hepburn. Hepburn makes her first, misses the second, but Hamilton's there for the rebound. She kicks it out to Wardell. It's 39-19, 3.35 remaining in the first half. Wardell picks up her dribble on the foul line. Now it's out to Hood, who misses the three. Rebound goes to Danielle Williams. Williams gives it to Rostovsky. Sofsky tries to find Caitlin Flaherty in the corner. The pass is broken up. Out of bounds. Will stay with the Wolverines. Good hustle, though, by San Diego. Woodward and Maya Hood almost got to the pass. Bodies flying everywhere as Hood collided with Woodward. I thought Wolf the Wolverines would have a transition opportunity, but Hood, great hustle to break up that pass to Flaherty in the corner. Thompson gets it into Williams. Now up top, it's Wostowski. In the corner, Thompson, who dumps it down to Kelsey Mitchell, goes up for the reverse layup. It's blocked, but she gets the ball back, kicks it out to Danielle Williams. Now Rostovsky in the right corner. Her pass is stolen. Now there's a jump ball. Good hustle by Danielle, Delia, Danielle Williams to get the ball back for the Wolverines. Other way, otherwise, it would have been San Diego going the other way. It's another one of those little pocket passes from Sierra Thompson, but Apparently she doesn't quite have the same chemistry that she does with Dome as Mitchell not in the right spot. Fortunately, Williams with the hustle play. Now Williams finds Rostovsky down low. Good floater. Rostovsky converts. Michigan's got San Diego perplexed with their off-ball work. Ordell has the ball tipped away from her by Thompson, but it's retrieved by San Diego. Now in the corner, it's Burr. She's going to dribble up top to Woodward. Now Hood is blocked by Danielle Williams, but Burr gets it back. She's going to put up the layup. Can't the save it under your own basket. Good play by Williams to block the shot, but didn't have a teammate open. You don't want to save it under your own basket because if you're falling out of bounds, uh, that's a disadvantage on the defensive end. She speeds the other team. And now it's Caitlin Flaherty who gives it up top to Williams. Now to Rostovsky, left wing, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Williams finds Flaherty. She's going to drive center. 
Goes up for the left-handed layup. No good. Rebound, Kelsey Mitchell, but it's going to be an offensive foul as Maya Wood is a little shaken up. Yeah, it looked like she uh, might have kind of jabbed Hood in the back, maybe gotten her in the face with an errant hand. Good take there by Flaherty, uh, but just didn't have the control with her left hand to have the kind of soft touch necessary to put that one home. I didn't really know about that foul call in the moment, but with Hood shaking up, you can only assume that uh, Mitchell made a little too much contact down low. Now there's a timeout on the floor. Maya Hood will go to the bench, maybe get some ice, but the Wolverines do lead by 20, 41-21 with 202 remaining in the half. I guess the only downside to being up this quickly for this long is that the crowd hasn't really needed to get in it. It's a, it's a nice crowd here, and as it should be for a postseason game, it's pretty full on both sides of midcourt for the Wolverines. Fans have come out to support, but haven't had to be too loud. They haven't had to – they've had plenty to cheer for, but at some point, you know, it's just enough is enough. Yeah, sit back and relax. But you know Kim barnes Rico isn't going to relax at halftime. She'll make sure that the Wolverines know what they need to improve on for the second half. Yeah, you know, this could be – if the Wolverines – are just careful not to let up on either end of the court. It could be a good opportunity to limit the kind of fatigue that can build up in your players over time. Maybe that's part of the reason that Danielle Williams is getting this start. She hasn't spent as much time out there on the court soaking up minutes, banging bodies as the rest of these players. And uh, if you're starting five and beyond are well-rested going into the later stages of the NIT tournament, that's going to serve you well. Obviously, Michigan can't afford not to play their best five, but I think having the kind of depth that they do and generating the kind of leads that they have today can have residual effects. Now we are back in action. Maya Hood is in the game still. It's Wardell, though, the other way. She'll hand it off to Woodward up top, guarded by Flaherty. She gets a screen. Now back up top for Wardell. Down to Hepburn. She's going to put up a jumper. No good. Rebound, though. Grabbed down by Wardell. There's going to be a foul. I think they're going to get Danielle Williams for it. Not a shooting foul. Michigan and San Diego both one foul away from the bonus. So San Diego under their own basket. Try to get it in. And they do. And now it's down low to Hepburn, but the pass is... Too high by Williams. It's going to go out of bounds to the Wolverines. Good little slate of hand there by Rostovsky. Outdone in the height department, but I think got a little bit of a tug on Hepburn's jersey. Made her unable to go up with her full height after that entry pass. Williams up top with 15 seconds on the shot clock. She feeds Flaherty on the left wing. Flaherty gets a screen from Rostovsky. She dribbles to the center. Now to Rostovsky on the left wing. She gives it down low to Kelsey Mitchell. It's going to go center. Puts up the layup. No good. And she uh -oh. knocks down Woodward, who looks like she maybe got hit in the face, and she's laying on the floor in pain. And they didn't call foul. Shoulder. Yeah, Woodward went down real awkwardly. Kelsey Mitchell, after that miss, kind of turned and stumbled down the floor. You know, when you first turn around and you're trying to hustle back in transition, you don't have the best account of where everybody is on the defensive end. And I think Corey Woodward landed on her left shoulder. Right now it looks like she's headed toward the bench and will hopefully get some attention. Not a lot of motion in her arm, and she looks to be in some pretty serious pain. Yeah, she goes straight to the trainer. So now at point it's Hamilton trying to get some movement from her teammates. She gets a screen from Hepburn. She's going to go right, go all the way to the basket for her layups. No good. Rebound goes to Danielle Williams. She finds Rostovsky from the left elbow out to Thompson. He feeds Kelsey Mitchell down low. Power dribble and up to the layup. 
Good little hesitation. Mitchell's tried to power her way through the San Diego Bigs, her first two post possessions. That time, just a little bit of a pump, a little hesitation got Hepburn off balance, and she finished that layup with ease. 15 seconds remaining in the half. It's 43-21. San Diego looking to get up a shot. Williams puts up a floater from the sideline. No good. But San Diego gets the rebound. It's Wardell up top. Three seconds. Two. She launches a three at the horn. No good. The Wolverines will enter halftime up 43-21. Kim barnes Zarico clapping her hands as she heads to the locker room. Uh, she's smelling victory, and this Wolverines team came to play today. Uh, and they, they, They've just looked stellar throughout this first half. They have, and the Wolverines are just going to talk about continuing their strong play into the second half. It's going to be San Diego that's going to have the tough uh, halftime discussion. Well, we're going to leave you for a couple minutes, and we'll be back for the second half.
Hello and welcome back to WCBN FM Ann Arbor's broadcast of Michigan women's basketball. My name's Morris Fabri, alongside me, Emily Harrard, and we're about to get ready for the second half here at Chrysler Arena. The Wolverines in the first half uh, just took an absolute shellacking to the San Diego Toreros. Uh, the Toreros messed with the bull that is the Wolverines and have largely gotten the horns. How do they sustain this performance, Emily? Well, the Wolverines just need to keep up the energy on the defensive end, and they're just playing as a team. You see um, Sierra Thompson finding Hallie Thome down low, and Thompson now has the single-season record for assists at 170. And we are back underway. It is Corey Woodward fresh off of what appeared to be a pretty bad shoulder injury on the ball for the Toreros. Drives to the right hand, dishes out to Molina Hood. Hood dribbles to her left, around the elbow, pulls up near the left block. Shot no good off back rim, but a foul on Sierra Thompson. And that's what San Diego is going to have to do in the second half is get to the basket and draw some fouls. They didn't get to the line too much in the first half. Not a lot of clean looks for San Diego. Two of four from the line. Michigan seven of nine from the charity stripe. Melina Hood's first free throw up and nothing but net for Hood. Hood's now got six points on two of five shooting. Uh, averages, I believe, 18 points a game on the year. So Michigan doing a good job of holding her quiet. Second free throw, no good off front rim. Almost rebounded by her sister, Maya Hood, but... My hood could not hold on to the rebound. It bounced out of bounds. Michigan basketball. It would be Rostovsky getting it up to Sierra Thompson. San Diego in a 2-3 zone. Thompson dribbles toward the left side. Now back up top with it. Sierra Thompson holding the ball. 15 on the shot clock. Over to her left. Inside to Hamilton, or sorry, Hallie Thome at the elbow, fumbled the pass, 8-7 on the shot clock. It swung over to Flaherty, dribbling into the paint, dishes it. Down low to Thome, Thome can't handle the pass. It's out of bounds, a turnover by the Wolverines. Looking largely discombobulated to start this, the second half. The Wolverines did look confused on offense. Hallie Thome not knowing where to go and unable to hold on to several passes. It'll be Woodward, second, setting it up for Maya Hood, hands off to Molina Hood, gets it up to Hamilton. Hamilton up top, guarded by Flaherty. Swings it over to Sydney Williams. Williams looking into the post and said, throws a cross-court pass over the head of Woodward, who lunged for it but could not control it. Out of bounds, another turnover by the Toreros. Both teams looking a little slow and confused out of this halftime. And I wonder what was in the Gatorade. Sierra Thompson now on the left wing. Into Rostovsky on the free throw line. Automatic pass down low. Tipped and taken away. Rostovsky, a really bad look there. A turnover and San Diego going the other way with it. It's Molina Hood on the left wing. Guarded by Danielle Williams. Dribbles to her right. Gives it over to Maya Hood. She's met there by Thompson. Almost took it away. Ball bounces out to Hood. Hood puts up the jumper. No. Off backboard. No rim. But another foul. This one on Haley Thome. And Molina Hood again going to the charity stripe. It was a initially good pressure by Sierra Thompson, but San Diego was able to get to the basket, and then Hallie Thome brought down her hands just a little bit, and they're going to call that. San Diego out to a bit of a, a run, if you could call it that, a 2-0 run to start this second half as Hood knocks down her first free throw. Up to seven on the game. Hood also with three fouls committed so far, so if the Wolverines can get her into any sort of foul trouble, it would be really bode well for their chances of closing this one out. Hood knocks down the second free throw. Williams gets it up to Thompson. San Diego sticking in that 2-3 zone. Flaherty now on the left wing. Bounces it inside to Rostovsky. Dribbles lost the ball. Thome picks it up. Goes through a triple team up with the right hand. A runner across the lane. Banks it home. Thome able to squeeze two, through two San Diego defenders to get to the basket. It's Catherine Hamilton now on the right wing. Drives to her left into a crowd. Bounces it. Hood on the back cut. Baseline jumper. No good. Rebound tapped long out to the perimeter. Handled by Woodward. Swings it over to Molina Hood. Back up top to Woodward. Woodward guarded by Williams. Dribbles over to the left wing. Driving with the right hand into the paint. Around Thome. Puts it up and puts it in off the glass. Good little work of uh, Maya Hood screening Thome so that she could not block the shot. Now at the other end, the Wolverines, Williams with it on the right wing in front of the Michigan bench. 
Over to Flaherty in the right corner. Dribbles out of trouble. Up top to Thompson. Thompson to the right corner. Rostovsky, hot shooter for the Wolverines today. Up top for Flaherty. Crossover dribble into the left corner. Thompson open 4-3. Off back rim, no good. Rebound pulled down Molina Hood. Hood up to Woodward. Long outlet pass. Up the left wing, finds Hamilton. Tries to dump it inside to Maya Hood, but it's knocked out of play by Sierra Thompson. And good hustle by Sierra Thompson to make her way back. Make sure that San Diego didn't have an easy transition to close to the basket. Williams quickly getting subbed out of this game for Boogie Brzozowski. Sierra Thompson's been a big pest on defense for the Wolverines. San Diego inbounding from the baseline. It'll be Woodward inbounding over to Molina Hood. Fumbles with her dribble, 17 on the shot clock. She's on the left wing with the ball, gets a screen from Sydney Williams. Gives it up to Maya Hood to the right wing, now to Woodward. Woodward driving toward her right, pulls up for a jumper. Off the rim, no good rebound, pulled down by Halley Thome. Thom sets it up to Brzozowski, crosses over on the left wing, dumps it off for Rostovsky. Madison Rostovsky looking down low, opts not to pass. Dribbles it up to the top of the key. Rostovsky guarded by Maya Hood to the left wing to Brzozowski. 12 on the clock. Brzozowski gets a screen from Thom, splits the defense, dishes it to Rostovsky, but before Rostovsky can make a wide open layup, a foul is called. It's a blocking foul on Molina Hood, I believe. No, it's on Maya Hood, my mistake. Prevented a basket, the Wolverines inbounding from the baseline now. Inbound quick to Flaherty, drives into the paint, puts up a little righty hook shot, rattles out. Rebound pulled down Molina Hood. Molina Hood up ahead to Woodward. Back to Molina Hood, pulls up for three from the right wing. No good. San Diego just can't get the shots they need to rally back. And Thome pulls in the rebound and is fouled by Sidney Williams looking for a quick takeaway. Thome had sealed Williams there, and then Williams had her hand in there, so it's going to be a foul. The Wolverines looking to get some more points in the basket. Only two so far in this half. Thompson taking it up to four court for the Wolverines. Over to Brzozowski on the right side. Brzozowski outside bounces it up top to Sierra Thompson. San Diego still in that 2-3 zone. Into Rostovsky on the left elbow to Flaherty in the left corner. 4-3, and she knocks it down. Caitlin Flaherty gives the Wolverines a 22-point lead, 48-26, with 5.45 to go in the third quarter. It'll be Corey Woodward poked away by Flaherty. Flaherty all the way to the rim for an uncontested breakaway layup. Quick hands from the Michigan sophomore, giving Michigan their largest lead of the game. Woodward again beats the pressure and draws a ticky-tack touch foul on Boogie Brzozowski. Too much body there harassing Woodward as she crossed the timeline. And now Flaherty has 19 points and just a good overall game. She also has three rebounds, two assists, and now a steal. Taylor Hepburn checks in for Sydney Williams for the blue-clad Toreros. Inbounds finds Woodward on the left wing, driving into Brzozowski, goes up wildly, Draws a foul and will head to the line. Another foul on Brzozowski. She's accumulated two in very quick succession here in the third quarter. 14 fouls on the Wolverines, so San Diego effectively in the bonus. And Brzozowski, she comes off the bench with a lot of energy, but part of what comes with that is her quick fouls, so she already has two. Woodward swishes the first free throw, and... I think some of the issues you see with Brzozowski on defense, she's got plenty of energy, but doesn't quite have the composure or the awareness that she will hopefully gain with experience on the defensive end. Free throw left short. Hepburn tracks down the rebound, but steps out of bounds in front of the San Diego bench down in the corner. Could not quite corral it. Fought Thome for it valiantly. Yeah, both Thome and Hepburn were going for that ball. It looked like it was a little slippery as it went off both of them and finally to the Wolverines. Thompson takes it up for the maize and blue, clad in white today. Gives it up to Ristoff, or Brzozowski, back to Thompson. Thompson over to Brzozowski. Down low to Thome, skip past Thome with an easy lefty layup. Great vision by Br Brzozowski to find Thome under the basket. At the other end, it's Hamilton all the way to the rack, rejected by Halley Thome, and the ball falls out of bounds. That will lead to a timeout on the floor. 
We'll head into the first media timeout of the second half. Michigan up 52-27 with 4.51 to go here in the third quarter. Michigan clearly poised to advance. And Holly Thome is in the zone right now. She has 12 points off four for four shooting, and then she gets back on defense, and she has an excellent block. And just the Wolverines so far tonight have had great court awareness as seen with this recent pass from Brzozowski down low to Thome. And the start of the third quarter, it looked like they weren't quite as in sync as they were in the first half, but I think now that they're getting back into the rhythm of the game, they're starting to... Um, Feel, see where their teammates are better on the floor. Yeah, I think at the other end, Michigan is starting to really, yeah, as you said, really get in, into their rhythm at, against that 2-3 zone. They are taking their time, not forcing any of the action around the elbows, not dribbling into traffic, just moving the defense back and forth, waiting for a hole to be created uh, because eventually you move the ball around enough, there are going to be seams in any zone, and uh, Rostovsky, sorry, Brzozowski, keep, missing, keep messing up their names, able to exploit it, dumping it down low to Thome for the easy two. And on the other end for San Diego, Woodward, she only has five points, but after a hard foul in the first half, she is actually being more aggressive in the second half, trying to get to the basket. And as I said earlier, that's what San Diego is going to need to do is start attacking the basket, drawing fouls and getting good looks. Yeah, our man on the sideline said, texted us, well, texted me instantly after Woodward went down and said, that's a, that's a broken collarbone for sure. Uh, now he has texted me saying that she was faking the collarbone injury. Bit of a dubious claim, perhaps our I team of Dalton Pataki not totally qualified to be a medical professional. No, definitely not the medical trainer for San Diego. They were able to get Woodward, though, back onto the floor. Though he certainly dressed the part to be a part of a coaching staff. A nice pink suit jacket. With a Hawaiian shirt underneath. Just got done calling the softball game. If you want to recap our call of that, you can just look it up on our YouTube channel. Woodward will inbound from the baseline for San Diego. Struggles to find one. Finally, inside the hood. Rushed a shot, missed it, and Thom yanks down the rebound. It falls to Thompson up ahead to Brzozowski. Brzozowski on the break, righty layup, scoops it up, and scoops it in. Great speed by the Wolverines, but finished by Boogie Brzozowski. It'll be Woodward going the other way for San Diego. Swings it over to Molina Hood. Hood dribbles with her right hand, working on Sierra Thompson, hands it off. Pull-up jumper from Hamilton, clang, no good. Rebound pulled down with one hand by Hallie Thome, secures it, it's a jump ball, and the ball will go to the Wolverines. Thome doing some real nice work on the glass. She's got 12 points on only four shots to go with her five boards on the game. Thome's just been tapping those rebounds to herself. She has a good height advantage out there tonight. Thompson over Brzozowski on the right wing. Brzozowski back up top to Madison Rostovsky. Over to Thompson on her left. Thompson inside to Rostovsky, keeps the ball up high, goes up with the layup, but it misses. Just rattled around every part of the rim except the bottom. And now a turnover by Woodward, picked up by Flaherty. Flaherty crosses midcourt and double dribbles. Looked like she wanted to pass to Rostovsky, but saw the pass wasn't there and, you know, just kind of held on to it and then dropped it again. Flaherty has been better with her dribbling and has some good hesitation moves so she could have almost pulled that off but definitely a double dribble. Michigan certainly I'd say done less of the dribbling themselves into trouble than they usually do. Hamilton at the other end quick pull up step back from the baseline is good. Flaherty reached for a steal and got burned as a result. It'll be Brzozowski on the other end turns with it on the right wing back up top to Rostovsky. Stavsky crosses over to her left, hand off to Flaherty. Flaherty guarded by Molina Hood at the top of the key. Dribbles with her right hand. Back outside to Thompson. Thompson to the right wing, Brzozowski. Brzozowski inside to throw him on the right block. Throw him back outside. Rostovsky wide open for three. And it's no good. The whole bench thought that one was falling, too. Rebound to Maya Hood. Maya Hood up to Aubrey Wardell. Wardell guarded by Brzozowski. Dribbling toward the left wing. Driving with her right hand, puts up the shot and puts it in, streaking across the lane and banking it home. 
Thompson up ahead to Brzozowski, quickly into the lane. Swings it out to Flaherty, back out to Brzozowski, left corner for three. Boogie Brzozowski rattles around, out, and then back in a trifecta for the freshman. An interesting bounce for a three-pointer, but she got it to fall. Wardell harassed as she crosses the timeline, but gets it over to Maya Hood, goes up with the left hand. No, she yanks down her own rebound after it was tipped a couple times, and a foul called on the floor. Jillian Dunstan checking back into the game for the Wolverines, as is Danielle Williams. Rostovsky and Brzozowski out of the game. Going to be Wardell inbounding from the baseline into Sydney Williams. Baseline jumper from the left side. Knocks it down right away. That's been her spot today. The baseline on either side of the rim. 57-33, Michigan leads 218 to go in the third quarter. Thompson to the right wing, Danielle Williams back up top to Thome. It goes. Thome, dribble handoff over to Flaherty. Flaherty up top with it. Swings it over to Thompson. 10 on the shot clock. Thompson over to Danielle Williams. Williams looking for a pass. Down low to Thome. Tough pass. Three seconds. Swing pass inside to Dunstan. Lefty layup as the shot clock expires. And she puts it in. Great awareness by Thelm to collect that pass and then find Jillian Dunstan on the other side of the basket. Just reached around a duo of defenders and dumped it off for Dunstan. Now Hamilton with it finds Hitler Hood on the back cut and Molina Hood goes up strong, misses the layup, but draws a foul. Again, the Wolverines victimized by a back cut. That time it was Sierra Thompson letting her mark go right by her to the rim. Despite the 59-33 lead, if Kim Barnzerico is going to talk about some pointers, it's going to be those backdoor cuts because against teams that move a lot, the Wolverines are going to have to be more aware on defense. Hood claims the first free throw off the back of the rim. Thome checks out of the game to a round of applause, and Kelsey Mitchell checking in. Hood leading the Toreros with eight points, two of seven from the field, three of five from the free throw line, make it four of six, she knocks down the second. Thompson bringing it to four court, driving to the right elbow, outlets to Williams, picks up her dribble, harassed by Wardell, knocked out of her hands, lobs it inside to Thompson, going with the righty reverse layup, no good, rebound pulled down, Maya Hood up ahead to Wardell. Wardell through some traffic. Pull-up jumper in the lane. Off back rim. No good. Rebound. The offensive rebound by Carolyn Buer. Buer outside to Wardell. Lob pass inside. Good job by Maya Hood to wall off Thompson. Received a pass and put up an easy layup for two. Thompson at the other end for the Wolverines. They lead by 23. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Danielle Williams back up top to Dunstan. Dunstan guarded by Caroline Beer. Lobs it over to Flaherty on the left wing. Flaherty a crossover, drives into the paint, runs into contact out to Williams. Long two from the right wing. Danielle Williams rattles it home. It'll be Wardell bringing it up for San Diego. Quick pass inside from Hood on the right wing. Finds Sydney Williams, and Williams puts it home. Michigan missing the length of Halley Thelm on the interior. Shot clock turned off. 22 seconds to go in the first half. Thompson going to buy some time. Gets it over to Flaherty. Flaherty up top to Williams. On the midcourt logo is Danielle Williams. Williams into Flaherty rotating off an off-ball screen. Has it at the top of the key. Seven seconds to go. 6-5. Flaherty to her right. Drives to the paint. Puts up the floater. Rattles around. Sits on the rim and falls. Caitlin Flaherty right before the buzzer. Gives the Wolverines another bucket, and they head into the fourth quarter with all the momentum and with a 63-38 lead. And it's been a good day for Caitlin Flaherty. She's shooting 8 for 12. She has 21 points. And a lot of her points have come from her driving strong to the basket, as we saw at the late on the clock right there. She went with confidence and strong, and that's something that Caitlin Flaherty needs to work on is getting better looks at the basket, and that's what she's had tonight. Yeah, Flaherty not really challenged at the rim. With the with the exception of maybe Taylor Hepburn, there's not a lot of rim protection on this San Diego team, and Michigan has taken advantage of it 
Uh, the scouting report on San Diego is that they were a team that didn't do any one particular thing very well, but they were a team that did everything well. But thus far, Michigan has done pretty much everything better than the San Diego Toreros. And the Wolverines are still shooting 64% from the field. So they're just on fire. And it's been because of their defense and as well as getting players the ball where they're open and just having great court awareness. Yeah, absolutely. The offense today has put the team in a position to succeed. Just on the big board, we just had the Arby's hat shuffle. How are you at those challenges? I don't know. I feel like they just, when there's a kid picking it, even if it's not the right one, they always say the kid picks it. So it's a conspiracy? I think so. Either that or I'm just wrong all the time. <laughs> there's no right. You know, the crowd seems to get it right more often than not. I, I I think it's more probable that you're, you're just bad <laughs> at it. I'm, I mean, I'm no good at it either if we're you know, operating under full disclosure here. With statistical updates, Sierra Thompson, three points but five assists for the Wolverines. Caitlin Flaherty leading the Wolverines in scoring with 21 points. On 8 of 12, shooting 2 of 3 from 3, 3 for 3. From the free throw line, Madison Rostovsky also shooting hot for Michigan. 14 points on 6 of 9 from the field. 2 of 3 from behind the arc. Hallie Thome also perfect from the field. Everybody who's gotten in the game for the Wolverines has recorded a made field goal. The same cannot be said for San Diego. San Diego yet to get a player in double digits, but a couple players close as we get the fourth quarter underway. It is Sierra Thompson. Bounce pass into Flaherty at the free throw line. Hesitation drives with a right hand, puts up the righty floater, and it gets stuck between the rim and the backboard. Get out the mop to get it down. The mop does get it down. The possession arrow in favor of the Toreros, so they will take over possession. It'll be Wardell bringing it to forecourt for San Diego. Swings to the right wing. Maya Hood drives with her left hand, puts up the lefty floater. No good. Rebound off a litany of hands, and it falls out of bounds off of Michigan. Mitchell and Dunstan not going to be able to rebound with the same kind of ease that Hallie Thome did. Quick inbound pass inside for Williams. Her shot. Around the rim and out. Rebound yanked down by Kelsey Mitchell. Now Thompson up ahead to Flaherty. Flaherty to her left. Hesitation move. Bounces it back outside to Williams. Then in the offense gets set up. Williams over to Sierra Thompson on the right wing. Thompson back up top to Flaherty. 13 on the shot clock. Flaherty gets a screen from Dunstan. Drives to her left. Leaves it out to Williams. Williams hesitation back to Flaherty. Left corner. 4-3 off back rim. No good. Rebound pulled down though by Jillian Dunstan. Dunstan back up top, and Sierra Thompson will drain some clock near midcourt. 8.55 to go in the game. Thompson to the left wing to Danielle Williams. Williams up top to Dunstan. Dunstan to Thompson. Thompson. Down low to Dunstan. Passes tipped, knocked away. Caroline Buer in the right place for San Diego. And the Wolverines will inbound from the baseline with nine seconds to go on the shot clock. It was a, a good thought to... Get that ball down to Jillian Dunson. The pass was just not high enough. Thompson to inbound. Bounces it down low for Mitchell. Out to Williams. Five seconds on the clock. Williams over to Mitchell. Spins inside to Dunston. A lefty layup, and it's good. The second time Dunston's been on the receiving end of a pass out of a poor San Diego double team. Good pass there by Mitchell. At the other end, it's Wardell, guarded by Rostovsky. Finds Hood on the back cut. Maya Hood to lay up, up, and in. Burn Danielle Williams there. Now Williams up top to Dunstan to the right wing to Rostovsky. Rostovsky over to Sierra Thompson. Thompson dribbles toward her left. San Diego in that 2-3 zone. Rostovsky on the right wing. Rostovsky picks up her dribble, swings to Williams in the right corner. Williams driving baseline, kicks it out to Thompson, fires, and it's off rim, no good. Thompson, an open jumper, but could not get it to fall. Rebound 
to San Diego. It's Wardell going the other way. Wardell to the right wing to Molina Hood. Molina Hood looking for Williams, but Dunstan defends her well. Drives into the paint behind the back dribble. Leaves it out for Williams. Fumbles with the ball on the floor. Bounces it out to Wardell. Pulls for three from the right wing. Off the rim, no good. Rebound fought for and tapped out to Molina Hood. Hood gives it up to Wardell. Wardell holds and lets everybody get up from the floor. Wardell calling out instructions. 18 seconds on the shot clock. It's a screen from Buer. Dribbling to her right. Harassed by Thompson. Up top it goes to Williams. Williams pass inside. Deflected. Knocked away by Jillian Dunstan. Thompson going the other way. Crosses over to the left hand. Leaves it up to Dunstan. Drives into the paint. Goes up with the right hand. No. But draws a foul. And on the other end, it was sloppy play by San Diego, but they kept the ball because of their hustle. But the Wolverines just came out on top because they had their hands in the passing lane. Thompson seems to have really embraced her role as a distributor today for the Wolverines. Dunstan with four points on the game, make it five as she rattles home her first of two free throws. A couple of substitutions, thumb in the game for Kelsey Mitchell. Woodward back in the game for San Diego as is Melina Hood. Sorry, as is Catherine Hamilton, I should say. Hood's been in the game. Second free throw from Dunstan is good, and now Nicole Munger will check into the game for Jillian Dunstan. It'll be Woodward bringing it up for San Diego. They trail the Wolverines 67-40 to with 6.53 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hamilton on the right wing, crosses over into the lane, got, I'd say, grabbed by Williams as she tried to get into the lane and knock the ball out of bounds. The refs didn't call a foul, so Michigan will take over there. And uh, Hamilton. She's not happy about that call still. Yeah, a little distressed, can't blame her. At the other end, it will be Sierra Thompson. Thompson guarded by Woodward, back up top to Brzezowski. Brzezowski bounces it over to Thompson. Thompson stripped by Woodward. Just knocked it right out of her hands. Woodward gets across forecourt. Good job by Thompson to prevent a fast break. It's Melina Hood on the left wing. Driving. Dishes. Finds Hamilton. Open jumper from the baseline. No good. Rebound fought for. Pulled down by Brzezowski. Brzezowski into the front court. Pulls it, pulls it back out to the perimeter. Now tosses it inside to Thome. Goes up with the left hand and puts in a mismatch down low. Mouse in the house. Melina Hood couldn't handle Haley Thome. Now it's Woodward at the other end. Over to Maya Hood to Catherine Hamilton in the right wing. Hamilton back up top to Melina Hood. Melina Hood pulls for three and rattles it home. Rostovsky gave her some space and Melina Hood made her pay. 5.43 to go in the fourth quarter. Sierra Thompson up top to Boogie Brzezowski. Brzezowski back over to Thompson. Thompson looking toward the elbow, back over to Brzezowski. Brzezowski driving into the paint, picks up her dribble. Outside to Munger, seven on the shot clock. Over to Sierra Thompson, crosses over, steps back, driving toward the free throw line, puts up an awkward ready floater off front rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Woodward. Woodward taking it up the court, swinging to the right wing to Hamilton. Hamilton guarded by Munger, dribbles toward her left at the left elbow, dishes it out to Hamilton, sorry to Hood, Molina Hood into the lane, pulls up from about eight feet and knocks it down over Nicole Munger. Molina Hood, two solid possessions, now scored five straight for San Diego. 14 points on the game for Molina Hood. It's Thompson at the other end, up top to Munger. Munger on the right wing. Back up top to Sierra Thompson. Thompson swings to the left wing to Brzezowski. Tried to dump it inside to Thome, but Thome walled off by Williams and maybe just didn't have enough strength left in her to establish a deep position. Ball goes out of bounds. Turnover by the Wolverines. It's going to be their 15th of the game. The Wolverines are having fun just dumping the ball down low to Hallie Thome. So that time Brzezowski might have gotten a little excited, but Thome didn't have the positioning. But Tonight she's been tremendous, just being able to catch the ball up high, keep it there, and then lay it in the basket. And also on the rebounding end, she's done well. Almost looks like Andre Drummond's 
with some tapping out there, but she's working on it as a freshman. Still living, basking in the glow of that Pistons game. <laughs> I am. <laughs> heck of a finish. Heck of a finish. Andre Drummond, not a guy who's going to score a lot of last shots for the Pistons, but he was there to clean up that KCP miss from three. I don't know what KCP was doing down the stretch either, taking all kinds of bad shots should have been for the biased, Pistons. Not Tobias Harris. Marcus Morris should have been. Yeah, he was on been. fire. Speaking of on fire, Thome, Rostovsky, and Flaherty have combined for 49 points for the Wolverines. San Diego, 45 points as a team. Michigan in altogether dominant effort so far. Uh... Who is Michigan looking at next? Do you, uh, do you have that up or we want to get the I team on it? Uh, ne next would either be Temple or Ohio. They play um, Thursday at 7. The next game will be Thursday at 7 or Temple and Ohio? Temple, Temple and Ohio is Thursday. All right. Do you know when the next NIT game for Michigan would be? Um, it's the range of the 26th through the 28th. All right. That's not too far in the future. I think that is uh, – this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, man, Saturday WC through Monday, WCBN's got so many games that they have the potential to call this weekend. We've got baseball on Saturday, then there's men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse, softball, bunch of other stuff on Sunday, and now just throw the NIT on top of that. Not the best time for me to go home for the weekend, but. You know, it's Easter. Got to have that Easter brunch. Back underway, it's Woodward getting it from Caroline Buer. She'll take it across half court. Dribble handoff to Molina Hood. Back up top to Buer. Buer guarded by Munger. Over to Sydney Williams. Williams back up top to Buer. 15 on the shot clock. Buer to the left wing to Molina Hood. Hood dumps down low to Williams. Spins to her left. Now to her right. Puts up the hook shot. Off back rim. No good. Rebound, though. Pulled down by Maya Hood. She puts it up and draws a foul. Munger backing into her as she put up the shot. And Maya Hood will go to the line for two. Despite being down, Melina Hood has continued to fight out there for her team. She has 14 points, five rebounds, and she's had three fouls for a long time. And Maya Hood now at the line knocks down the first free throw. She's got nine rebounds on the day. The Hood sisters have... Put forth the effort, but the shot's just not falling for anyone wearing a dark blue jersey today. Hood's second free throw is also good. 69-47, your tally. San Diego with a bit of pressure. Michigan breaks. Brzozowski hands off to Rostovsky, fakes the pass inside. Over to Brzozowski on the right wing. Up top it goes to Flaherty. Flaherty to the left wing to Munger. Munger back up top to Brzozowski, free throw line pass to Rostovsky, back out to Flaherty, right wing three, nothing but net, Caitlin Flaherty knocks it down. It'll be Woodward going the other way for San Diego. Michigan with a 72-47 lead. Woodward on the left side, gives it over to Molina Hood. Hood guarded by Brzozowski, dribbles to her right, stops at the free throw line, hands it off to Maya Hood. Running into Rostovsky. Hesitation move. Goes up with the left hand. No good. Rebound pulled down by Thome. Thome outlets it to Brzozowski. Brzozowski pushing the pace. Leaves it off to Munger on the left wing. Munger picks up a dribble. Now Brzozowski in the left corner. Drives into the lane. No pressure. Out to Munger. Right corner. Three. Off front rim. No good. Thome. The rebound. And she falls to the floor. Lands hard on her back. Awkward position. I think she might have gotten the wind knocked out of her there. You could hear that thud from all the way up here. And it might look like her head might have hit at the end as well. But she is getting up. She will get a nice hand from the crowd. And, you know, Sydney Williams was trying to box her out all she could. But Thome kind of leaped backward at that at an awkward angle. And, the positioning of Williams' body led to Thome falling on her back, but Thome is staying in the game. And looks like she's going to the line, even though I don't think she was really in the act of shooting there. 
it looked like she was just pulling down the rebound, which will be her seventh. But in, in a 25-point game, these calls don't really matter, but I think it's a pretty awful call. Maybe they just felt bad because the sound was so loud. <laughs> Just give her a couple free throws, make the back feel better. Thome knocks down the first. Gets a round of applause. Dunstan into the game for Flaherty, who's probably checking out for the last time today. Thome's second free throw, also good, and another substitution will be made. For the first time today, we are seeing Sam Trammell and she checks in for Hallie Thome, who heads down the bench, has, has some words with the trainer, and then takes her seat on the bench. No need to be looked at there. Woodward takes the cross half court, hands it off to Catherine Hamilton. Hamilton inside to Williams. Sydney Williams up and in over Jillian Dunstan. 74-49. Brzozowski, a quick pass, snatched out of the air by Munger. Some bodies on the bench ducking out of the way, but Munger with sure hands. Rostovsky inside. Brzozowski now to the right wing. Munger drives in the lane, bounces it inside to Sam Trammell, goes up and is fouled in the act. Sam Trammell gets interesting minutes. Not a whole lot, but she makes the most, and she's able to at least make one of her foul shots, and every Wolverine who's touched the floor will have scored a point. 30-second timeout now on the floor. Michigan a 74-49 lead. 2.34 to go here in the fourth quarter. Is it safe to say that this game is wrapped up? I would say so. The Wolverines have been dominating this game. 2.34 to go. They're looking to close this out. It'll be interesting to see if um, after under a minute if um, KBA will put in um, senior Hallie Wengler give her another opportunity to play in Chrysler as all the seniors, Kelsey Mitchell, Addison Rostovsky, and Hallie Wengler are enjoying their last games and fighting to continue playing as a Wolverine. Fans starting to slowly file out of here. Is that something that she's done in the first two uh, NIT games? I know those haven't been that close in the fourth quarter either. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe Hallie Wengler played in the first WNIT game, but I know she did uh, for a few seconds in the last game against Bucknell. We shall see. It certainly seems like a situation in which you would be likely to see KBA empty the bench. But as of right now, Wengler not on the court. It is Dunstan, Trammell, Munger, Ristovsky, and Brazowski on the court for San Diego. Catherine Hamilton, Maya Hood, Molina Hood, Sydney Williams, and it is Corey Woodward. Starters still out there going strong for San Diego. It is probably their last game of the season, so might as well let your starters get as much run as they need. Macklemore playing over the speakers. Are we past Macklemore as a society? I think so. I think people are a little tired of him, but this song is a good pump. Oh, yeah, song. no, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I got into Macklemore pretty big time back freshman year. A little ashamed of it, but uh, I got to admit it. First free throw up and in from Sam Trammell. I mean, Thrift Shop was a jam. It was. But before it, before it got played everywhere, Thrift Shop was a jam. It was a cool song. Basically listen to it every morning in the car ride on the way to high school. So here, here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can't blame you. Maria Backman checks into the game for the Wolverines. Rostovsky checks out. Still no sign of Wangler. Trammell knocks down the second free throw. 2.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Michigan up 76-49. It'll be Hood driving into the paint. Puts it up. A lot of contact, but Molina Hood puts it in off glass. 
Now breaking the press, Brzozowski up ahead to Munger. Takes some contact from Maya Hood as she comes down with the pass. Munger's got a really nice set of hands for the Wolverines. She can catch everything. She does. The one pass she caught by the bench, I couldn't even see it anymore. I thought I had gone out of bounds. Set of claws on her. Now Jillian Dunstan trapped near midcourt. Outlets to Brzozowski near the big M at center court. Over to back when it goes. Bounces it inside. A turnover. Taken away. Catherine Hamilton going the other way for San Diego. Eurostep. Kicks it out. Left wing three for Woodward. Way off. Rebound snatched by Jillian Dunstan. Dunstan pushing the pace. And pulls it out on the perimeter. Gives it over to Backman. Up top to Brzozowski. Brzozowski gets trapped. To Dunstan, left elbow. Over to Munger. Munger gets it poked away, but picks it up back up top. Brzozowski to Munger. Left corner. It goes to Dunstan. Dunstan up top to Backman. Spins with it. Over to Munger. Munger over to Brzozowski. And it looks like Wangler ready to check in. Brzozowski dishes. Dunstan. Jumper from near the three-point line. No good. The rebound pulled down by Trammell. She goes up with it. No. And a foul, a loose ball foul committed by Sam Trammell on Melina Hood. Hood pulled in the rebound, her sixth of the game. And Haley Wangler will check into the game for Nicole Munger. Now, both on the court, the only two Wolverines not to score, Haley Wangler and Maria Back. Michigan going to be taking it slow with their offense for the remaining remaining possession. So it's unlikely everybody who sees the court will get on the scoreboard. Corey Woodward to the right wing to Wardell. Aubrey Wardell dribbles across the lane. Dishes it. Molina Hood, long three from the left wing. No good. Rebound to Hallie Wangler. She's getting on the stat sheet, if not the score sheet. Brzozowski brings it up. Bounces over to Dunstan. Dunstan on the left wing over to Brzozowski. Brzozowski crosses over to her left hand, splits the defense all the way to the rim and lays it up, lays it in with the left hand. It's Corey Woodward taking it up the court. A timeout called as San Diego is going to get a full host of new subs. Giving the bench one last time on the court this year. Jamie Kissinger checking in along with Sydney Shepard, whom I don't think we've seen this game. It'll be Buer inbounding to Wardell. 40 seconds to go here in the game. Wardell guarded by Brzozowski, swings to the right wing. Sydney Shepard on the ball. Up top it goes to Taylor Hepburn. Hepburn to the left wing to Kissinger. Pulls for a long three, a rainbow three, no good. Rebound fought for on the floor, a jump ball. The ball to Michigan. It was Jillian Dunstan in the end who tied it up with Hepburn. And with 24.8 seconds, Michigan will be able to run out the clock. San Diego going with a full court press. Down 27 with 24 seconds. Why not? Ball outlet it up to Wangler. Wangler dribbling toward the corner with it. Doesn't really have the tightest handle. Back outside it goes to Brzozowski. Chance of let's go blue echoing throughout Chrysler Arena. Eight seconds to go in this one. Seven, six. Brzozowski's going to dribble it out. Michigan is going to walk out of here with a 78-51 victory over the San Diego. What were they again? The Terreros. Terreros. The Terreros. What a weird mascot. It's a, I, I got to gotta respect the mascot. What's Michigan take away from this game? Well, the Wolverines now have a lot of confidence going into the quarterfinals of the WNIT. I think it was good to show that they have the energy on defense and just be able to work the ball the way they did. It seemed like the ball didn't touch the floor that much for the Wolverines. and They were able to find teammates and just create some more chemistry with their teammates. And now they are very excited at half court. Overall, I think this is a good confidence booster and a great opportunity for the young players to get some more experience. If this team is heating up, they sure are heating up at the right time. Uh, we will be carrying their future games for you, but for now, that's all we have for you today. For Emily Harrard, I am Morris Fabry, and for all of WCBN Sports, I'm wishing you all a good night and a go blue. Thank you for tuning in.